pitching to the news media, the best way to come out of the box is to position your issue this way. Not what your story is about, but who your story is about. Whose life was changed or could be changed as a result of your program, initiative, or project? Stories are about change, and the bigger the change for the character, the more memorable the story for the audience. Now, I completely understand that a lot of documentation that you produce, your source material, is very densely written, and it may seem hard, if not impossible, to find stories in that. But actually, stories are often hidden in your project documents and initiatives. You just need to know how to find them. So let's apply the who, not what standard to a couple of examples. The source material says 35 skills training workshops were held across the region. The storyline is Betty started her own small business after attending the skills training workshops. The source material says the GHH 45A safety barrier has been introduced on the factory's assembly lines. The storyline is Farouk lost his arm when a robotic welding machine struck him. Thanks to a new safety technology, accidents like that won't happen again at the factory. The source material says the child labor monitoring system, CLMS, was rolled out to 20 small communities in the district. The storyline is Alice is back at school after a new community-based monitoring system got her out of child labor. Now, this kind of approach to your initiatives and projects is very interesting to audiences. In particular, it's very interesting to the specific target audience you are trying to reach reporters, producers, and editors. It is speaking their language. So again, to reach this very busy, very competitive audience, you've got to express your issue in a way that makes sense to them and even has the potential to help them achieve their goals, which are beating their competition and eventually market dominance.